Hi guys, Claire here from The Social Team, back again with another Style and Substance video for you. Today, we're gonna be taking on the viral sensation of cloud bread. It's light, it's fluffy, it's sweet, and it is so easy, you're gonna love it. While we're at it, I'm gonna be showing you three of my favorite kitchen essentials that you may not have, but after this, you may be a little bit interested in. I'm gonna be showing you how to use a kitchen scale. I'm gonna be talking about my favorite friend, the KitchenAid mixer. And last but not least, I'm gonna be showing you why it's so important to have a cooking mat whenever you're doing baking. So, with all that said, let's jump into it. First things first, I'm gonna get all of our ingredients measured out so that this goes super easy and super painless. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the food scale. I really like this one because not only does it do the basic functions of measuring all your ingredients, but it also has a lot of really fun add-ons that help you count macros and make sure that you're getting all the nutrients that you need throughout the day from meat to baking to all sorts of good stuff. So, as you can see, I already have my bowl on here and I'm going to turn it on while it's on the scale. The reason I do that is to make sure that we're starting at zero. We don't want the bowl to be measuring into any of our counting. So the first thing I'm gonna be adding to this bowl is 10 grams of cornstarch. Now that we've got the 10 grams of cornstarch, I'm just gonna hit the zero button so that we're back at zero. And to this, I'm gonna add another 30 grams of sugar. This is just plain white sugar, basic stuff. I really love using a scale for something like this because I'm able to get the most precise exact measurements that will make every recipe come out perfect every time. Now that I have all of the dry ingredients set aside, I'm gonna get started on my wet ingredients, which for this recipe is just three egg whites. Now, as you can see, I have a little bit of a system set up in place, which includes my favorite KitchenAid mixer. This guy is my best friend and so easy to work with. Essentially, the idea is to use only the egg whites. The best way I have found to do that is to crack your egg into a smaller bowl Set that aside, and then using clean fingers, pull out just the yolk and let all that white run through. Then you can set that to the side and save this for something later, maybe like a spaghetti carbonara or something fun like that. I'm gonna go ahead and move these yolks over to the side, and then I'm going to take these three egg whites and move them into an extremely clean and dry bowl. Essentially, this is a meringue, just with a little extra ingredients, and so you need this bowl to be as clean and as dry as you can get it. Now, I'm going to let the mixer do all the work. I'm gonna lock it in place, turn it on to stir, up one more, and let it go. So we have officially reached the soft peak stage in whipping our egg whites, where it essentially isn't ready to be a full meringue yet, but it's starting to get some actual structure to those bubbles. So now that we're at this phase, I'm gonna start sifting in our dry ingredients just about a third at a time, let it whip a little bit more, and then add the rest. So let's do that. The reason I consider the KitchenAid a huge essential in my kitchen is that doing something like this recipe by hand is a pain. It's really, really complicated and a lot of times you can't get the lift that you're looking for in the egg whites. So we are officially at the stiff peak stage and the way you can tell it is stiff peaks is see how that is just sticking up perfectly? That is stiff peaks. Now comes the fun part. I am using some pink gel color and I'm just putting it on the tip of a knife and sticking it right in there and turning this on and it is going to be the most fun color at the end. Did I say this was going to be fun or what? Look at that color! I love it! So now that I have my very pink batter ready to go, I am going to turn it over onto my third and final essential that I think everyone needs in their kitchen. This is a non-stick silicone baking mat, and it is perfect because it will make sure 
anything you put on it is non-stick. I use this for sauces that I know are a little bit sticky. I use it for baking because I know that I'm not going to end up with like a cookie that's all crunchy on the bottom. This is perfect for everything. So I'm just going to toss this and I'm just obsessed with this color. Oh my goodness. Now that I have got this on the mat, I am going to just kind of shape it into a bit of a uh, cake shape, if you will. I have gotten this in a little bit of a dome ball shape at this point, so I am going to stick this on a baking sheet and pop it in a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes. So we will be right back with the finished product. All right, and here we go. This is the final dish. It kind of looks like a brain whenever you're just looking at it, but the real beauty is what's on the inside. Are we ready? It is such an amazing pink color on the inside, and it's so spongy. I love that texture. I just can't get over it. It's so fun. Mm, mm-hmm. It tastes just like everyone says. It's like cotton candy. I really hope you guys give this a try. And if you do, don't forget to add a comment below and tag us in your post. If you like this, go ahead and give it a like, save it for later, and be sure to tune in for another episode of Style and Substance from JCPenney. And with that, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much. Bye.